Hey, Orion. Welcome back to math. Today is Monday. What you learned last week? Let's talk real quick about all the things you learned last week. Let's begin. Last week, you you learned about equal groups and repeated addition, arrays, factor and product, and the zero property of multiplication. Let's review some of the things we learned last week. Identify the factor and the product. So three times three is our factor and product is six. So a factor is the two numbers you multiply together and a product is the answer after the equal sign or the answer you get after multiplying your factors together. What happens when you multiply zero? When you multiply a number by zero, the answer is always zero. So no matter the size of the number, when you multiply it by zero, your answer will always be zero. So if I multiply 1,000 by zero, my product will be zero. If I have two factors like five and zero, the product or the answer will always be zero. Great job. So today we're going to learn about what happens when you multiply one by a number. When you multiply a number by one, your product or your answer will be the number you multiplied it by. So what does that mean? I have two factors in my number sentence, seven times one. So one is my factor and seven is my factor. So when you multiply a number by one, your product will be the number you multiplied it by. So the number I'm multiplying one with. So in this number sentence, I'm multiplying seven by one. My product will be the number you multiply. So my product or my answer will be seven. So when you multiply one by a number, the answer or the product will be the number you multiplied by. So what does that mean? If I multiply 300 by one, my product will be 300. If I multiply two factors such as 35 and one, my product or answer will be 35. So let's do some together. Let's solve five times one. I have two factors, five and one. I said that any number multiplied by one will be that number. So any number, in this case five, when it's multiplied by one will equal that number. So five. Let's do one more together. Eight times one. Any number multiplied by one equals that number. So we have one and we have our number. So our answer will equal the number we're multiplying one by. So eight times one equals eight. Why don't you try solving this one on your own? You can pause the video if you want, or you can say the answer out loud. Give it a try. Okay, great. Let's see what you guys came up with. Four times one equals, did you say four? Amazing. Four times one equals four. How about this one? Two times one. Give it a try. Great job. Two times one equals two. Amazing work. 11 times one equals 11. Beautiful. So for today, your worksheet will be a memory game and you're going to match the word problems to the answer. 
And remember, when you're multiplying any number by one, your answer will always be that number. So for example, if I'm multiplying 50 times one, my product or answer will be 50. Now is a great time to pause the video to begin your worksheets. Hey, Orion, welcome back to math. Today is Tuesday. So yesterday we learned about what happens when you multiply one by a number. So let's solve. 10 times one, give it a go. Good job, the answer is 10. So today we are gonna talk about all the different ways we've been learning how to multiply. So we've been talking a lot about equal groups. We've been learning a lot about arrays. And we also have learned a lot about repeated addition. Today, we are going to focus on skip counting. So we're going to review skip counting using our number line. And we're going to begin by skip counting by 10. So count with me. 0, 10. 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. Let's count together again. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. Great job. So now we have in front of us a picture of a number line. As you can see, we start with zero and we end with 100. And we are skip counting by 10. So 0, 10, 10, 20, 20, 30, 30, 40. Hmm. Now, why does this help us in multiplying? So now I want you to take your pointer finger and start at zero. And I want you to count how many times you go through a loop to get to 10. Give it a go. I'm gonna use my mouse. So ooh, one, I only jumped one loop to get to 10 or one hop to get to 10. So maybe that means 10 times one equals 10. Hmm. Let's see how many hops we get to get to 50. Start at zero and we're gonna hop all the way to 50. Count out loud with me. One hop, two hops, three hops, four hops, five hops. It took me five hops to get to 50. So I took five hops of 10 to get to 50, or 10 times five to get to the answer 50. So let's do one together. So 10 times two equals 20. We're gonna take our index finger and we're gonna start at, at zero. And we're gonna take two hops. Are you ready? Do it with me. One hop, two hops. I took two hops of 10 and I got to 20. So 10 times two equals 20. Let's do another one together. Okay, now we're gonna take three hops of 10. We're gonna start at zero, use your finger, and we're going to hop. One hop, two hops, three hops. We got to 30 in three hops. So we took three jumps of 10, or 10 times three equals 30. Great job. Let's do one more together. Are you ready? We're gonna start at zero, make sure you're using your fingers, and we're gonna hop until we get to the number 40. Let's do it. One, two, three, 
four. Great job. We took four hops to get to the number 40. Amazing. Okay, now this time I will want you to take your finger and take all the five hops by yourselves until you get to 50. I know you can do it. Great. Now let's do it together. Ready? Ooh, one hop, two hops, three hops, four hops, five hops. So 10 times five equals 50. Good job. Hmm. 10 times six. So I know I have 10. I'm going to jump 10 six times. So I need to do six jumps. Are you ready? Let's do it together. One, two, three, four, five, six. Good job. What number did you land on? 60? Amazing. So 10 times six equals 60. Try this one on your own. Great job. Did you land on 70? Amazing. Let's check our work together. Are you ready? We're going to start at zero. We always start at zero when we're using our number line. And now we are going to hop seven times. Are you ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Good job. One more. 10 times eight. Let's try this one together. I'm going to hop eight times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We landed on 80. So 10 times eight equals 80. Amazing. So for today, your worksheet, you guys are going to be doing a scavenger hunt multiplying by 10. Okay? Remember, when you're multiplying a number by 10, you're just skip counting by 10. Like 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. Great job. Now you can pause the video and begin your worksheet. Hey, Orion. Happy Wednesday. Yesterday, we learned how to skip count using a number line. Using a number line, we learned how skip counting using a number line can help us multiply. First, let's begin skip counting by 10. Nice and loud, I want to hear you. 0, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. Great job, 100. Today, we will need our number line. So make sure you have your number line in front of you. Now would be a great time to pause the video to get your number line. It's in your work packet. Great job on getting it. Let's begin. So let's solve 10 times four. Okay, so I'm going to take my index finger and I'm going to start at zero and I'm going to move along the number line four times. Are you ready? One, two, we always start at zero. One, two, three, four. 
So we're gonna move it along. One, two, three, four. So 10 times four equals 40. Amazing. Let's do another one together. 10 times three. You're gonna move your finger along your number line and you're gonna move it three times until you get your answer. One, two, three. Did you get 30? Great job. 10 times three equals 30. Ten times eight. So we're gonna move our finger along the number line eight times until we stop. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Amazing. Ten times eight equals eighty. Let's do it again. 10, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. We're going to move on. Worksheet time. So today you guys are going to do, use the same materials you used yesterday. And this time you are going to match your number sentence to the answer in a memory game. Hey Orion, happy Thursday. So yesterday we counted, we continued to skip counting using our number line. And we're working on skip counting by 10. So as you can see, we're skip counting by 10 on our number line. We always start with zero. Our number line always begins with zero. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. Great job. Now today we are going to review all the ways you can show multiplication. So we've been working for a really long time using our Freyer model, all the ways we can do multiplication. So we can do equal groups, arrays, repeated addition, and skip counting. So equal groups, write a multiplication sentence that matches the picture in front of you. Give it a try. Okay, what did you come up with? Let's check your answer. So we have one, two, three. We have three groups, and in each group, I see one, two, three. Three lines. We have three groups of three, and our multiplication sentence is three times three equals nine. Great job. An array. Write a number sentence that matches the array. Give it a go. Okay, let's see. How many rows do I have? I have 
one row, two rows. Okay, so I know one of my numbers will be two. How many columns do I have? One, two, three, four. Okay, so my number sentence that matches my array should be two times four equals eight. Awesome, great job. Hmm. This is a repeated addition sentence. Let's add all of our lines all together. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six. We have six lines. So I'm adding line, two lines three times. So my multiplication sentence is two times three equals six. Our answers are the same, but how we solved it is different. On top, we used addition, and on the bottom, we're using multiplication. Skip counting. Skip counting is something you guys worked on on Tuesday and Wednesday. So 10 times five equals 50. We're gonna start at zero and hop five times until we land on 50. One, two, three, four, five. Great job. So for today, your worksheet, you guys are gonna do two different worksheets. One is a cookie worksheet and another one is a repeated addition and equal group worksheet. Give it a try. Hey Orion, happy Friday. Today we are going to review what we have learned all week. So on Monday, we learned about what happens when you multiply one by a number. So 500 times one equals 500. When you multiply a number by one, your product will be the number you multiply by. On Tuesday, we reviewed skip counting by 10. I know that you are all amazing counters and by now can definitely skip count by 10 all the way to 100. So 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. Good job. Whoops, let's go back. We also learned how to hop our numbers when we want to multiply. So if I want to multiply 10 times seven, I'm going to hop seven times until I land on my answer. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So 10 times seven would equal 70. Great job. On Thursday, we reviewed all the ways you can show multiplication. You guys have been working really hard on equal groups, arrays, repeated addition, and skip counting. You guys are all amazing. So fantastic work this week on learning and growing and multiplication. And I look forward to see all the work you guys send in. Have a great weekend.